now guys let's study the third step which is essentially the adsorption of the reactant in the catalytic surface and as I told you before we are pretty interested in steps 3, 4 and 5 1, 2, 6 and 7 aren't that complex right now because we are studying actually reaction engineering not that much the mass transfer uh, coefficients so adsorption step 3 let's call S any active site so what we're going to do is essentially our reactant is going to be absorbed in our active site and we're going to call that A times S we have two models of adsorption one is uh, non-dissociated absorption and the other one is dissociative absorption we're going to see the difference in the next one but before going there let me show you what's or what are we going to model we're going to model essentially the reactant plus the free active site and the active site plus or not plus but including the reactant okay something like this and later we're going to see that the rate of detachment is essentially when it goes out okay because we have a balance guy so we cannot simply say that only attachment is included also we have an equilibrium of detachment so we need to account for that okay even though you know you want to react A to form it to B we need to still account for that and actually just check out is the partial pressure of CO times concentration of that and this one here you have negative constant just be sure it's the same value but they have different sign and as you should probably know in equilibrium or chemical equilibrium you just need to add the rate of reactions and you will get the overall rate of reaction which I get this one here let's continue and if we apply by definition that let's say Ka over K negative A it's my equilibrium assertion constant then I can apply it and simplify into this actually you don't need to do this but it looks cool to have you know the rate of reaction and actually this rate of reaction means rate of adsorption which could be considered as a reaction because you have A plus S and you're going to form the active site but it's not a reaction per se okay guys so just keep in mind that and you have the constant which we are used to work with and you have these concentration terms which you are probably also used to now we do an active site balance will be the total active sites concentration equals the the ones that are empty or vacant and the ones that are already with our reactant okay so of course empty plus not empty ones are going to give you the total one in equilibrium the rate should be equal to zero so let me go back this rate right here it's going to be zero you pass this dividing you can cancel actually and this can pass in addition so you're going to have this equals this and you can actually solve for COS which will be essentially this here or if you want to let's say for CV let me substitute this value here right here so if I want to solve I want to solve this in terms of COS and total because I probably know this one and I want this one so I'm going to input this value here and I got this equation but I don't want that I want to actually rearrange that in order to get if possible the concentration of my active site plus my reactant so I try to do that and I get this expression which is a very typical and very known form we've seen it before a little bit it's called the Langmuir isotherm okay so for this concentration of active site you're going to have a dependency on, of course, you know it's Ka and K negative A. The partial pressure of CO, which is essentially the reactant, partial pressure of the reactant, in this case is A, times the concentration of total uh, active sites divided by a 1. This one is pretty common in rate of reactions. And once again, the K, the ratio of Ks and concentration or partial concentration of CO and that was step number three which is absorption is not that complex to model but it's pretty important that you 
get the idea on why are we are doing this balance on active sites, why are we applying equilibrium law, and why are we accounting for attachment and detachment processes. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out its content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.